The biomarker selection module in the Omics Playground platform uh, is used for discovering biomarkers based on protein or uh, um, gene expression levels. The module itself consists of two main tabs, one called feature selection and the other one feature called feature set ranking. Now to start the analysis, you go first of all uh, to the settings uh, bar on the right hand side. You then uh, select uh, one of the phenotypes that you are interested in. In this case, I selected the uh, cross between phenotype and treatment. You can then optionally also include only a sub-selection of sample groups rather than uh, all of them for your analysis. And then you can also select uh, whether you want to focus on all the genes or just a specific gene family. You can also add uh, a custom list of genes if you already know some potential uh, biomarkers that you want the platform to focus on. In this case, you just click on costume and uh, uh, click and copy and paste the list of uh, gene acronyms in a, uh, in a space in the platform. Now, as you can see, the platform generates four plots and uh, we'll start a bit counterintuitively from uh, the bottom right. So we first of all have the decision tree that is produced based on uh, the most likely biomarkers. In this case, the platform used uh, two genes, uh, HOC protein A6 and CDKNA2A, uh, and uses them to identify uh, the four different phenotypic groups that I have in my data set. So in this case, I have treated and untreated samples as well as susceptible and resistant samples. On top of that, we have uh, eight uh, box plots that correspond to the most likely uh, biomarkers. And you can see the top two uh, corresponds to the heat shock protein A6 and CDK N2A gene that we that were used to produce uh, the decision tree and you can see uh, the, uh, the expression across uh, the different phenotypic groups next we have um, a heat map that shows uh, the most uh, prominent potential biomarkers and their expression level across all the samples in a split by phenotypic group and here you can see highlighted by the platform using asterisks the two uh, genes that were used to produce uh, the uh, decision tree. Finally, we have uh, the variable importance plot, which uh, is the most important from a bioinformatics point of view. This is based on combining the results of six different machine learning algorithms as well as two other statistical tests to produce these uh, uh, cumulative scores of the variable importance. Uh, so here you can see that the two most uh, prominent biomarkers based on the combination of the different approaches are each of protein A6 and CDK and 2A in particular each of protein A6 was uh, correctly identified as a biomarker by uh, all eight approaches. Um, the second um, module that we have in, uh, uh, sorry, the second tab that we have in uh, our uh, module is the feature set ranking tab. Um, so this in this tab, you can see uh, the genes uh, com uh, split by gene families and basically what the platform does is identify their discriminatory power in distinguishing uh, the various phenotypic groups contained within each of the phenotypes. So for example, uh, you can see that heat shock proteins comes on top and this is mostly because uh, heat shock proteins are pretty good at discriminating between treatment groups as well as the intersection between phenotype and treatment. Uh, you can also see that they are quite prominent for cluster and cell cycles, but we can ignore these two phenotypes as they are automatically generated by the platform. Uh, crucially, we can also see that 
heat shock proteins do not really have a strong discriminatory, discriminatory power for uh, the glucocorticoid resistant phenotype. So uh, if you were to look, um, if you were more interested in these phenotypes, you might look uh, towards nuclear receptors or chemokines, for example. And this concludes uh, my short introduction on the biomarker selection tab in the Omics Playground platform.